What's up, guys? Viper FPV here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to flash any flight controller, even if your boot button's broken, um, or even if you have your flight controller in your stack in your quadcopter, and for some reason you just can't access the boot button. So let's go ahead and dive into it and show you guys how to do it. All right, guys, we're at the computer, and the first thing you want to go ahead and download is the Impulse RC driver fixer. So let's go ahead and Google search that term. Impulse RC driver fixer and you want to click on this right here and you want to download this driver fixer right there and then go ahead and install it to your computer. So once you go ahead and install it to your computer let's go ahead and find it and start running it. So let me find it on mine. I did make a shortcut to mine right there and there will be two ways to flash the board but pretty much what we want to do is start it up so it's searching for flight controller then go ahead and get your flight controller and plug it in. So I'm plugging mine in right now. Now it's entering bootloader and then it's going to install the DFU driver, which is very important. And then once it's finished, driver success, that's done. So then you want to go ahead and do is open up beta flight or you can even do Butterflight if you want to. Same thing. And you'll notice right here in the top right, it's already in DFU mode. So for instance, if your boot button's broken or if you just can't reach the boot button on your flight controller because it's in a really tight build, you can go ahead and do it this way so then you can go ahead and flash some new firmware on it. So to flash firmware on your flight controller, since it's already in DFU mode, because it needs to be in DFU mode in order to flash any type of firmware on it, then you go ahead and find the flight controller that you're going to be using, and it already found mine, which was the Omnibus F4. Um, you might have to search for yours, so you might have to look what hex um, firmware you need on your flight controller, and then click it there. Then here you have all the different firmwares that you can flash it. I always usually just flash it with the newest one, so it's 3.3.2. And then you want full chip erase, and then you want to go down here and click load firmware online. Now if you say for instance downloaded this offline and you're I mean you downloaded it online and then you wanted to load it lo locally you can actually save the file to your computer and then later you can load it up that way if you click on this button. But now we're ready to go ahead and flash so we're going to hit flash firmware and now I'm going to talk about the next option you have too. Um, say for instance you don't want to go ahead and do what I just told you. You don't want to mess with putting the, the uh, bootloader, the DFU mode from the Impulse RC driver. Uh, you still have to run Impulse RC driver, um, but after um, you do that, you can go ahead and close it, disconnect your flight controller, and then load up beta flight. And I'll show you in a second of what we'll do in that case. Okay, so we're going to win successful. So in that case, say for instance you just want to disconnect it or reconnect it to um, beta flight or Butterflight, uh, which you'll go ahead and do after you ran the Impulse RC driver fixer, is go down to the CLI and then you can just type in BL and hit enter and then I'll put it in DFU mode and you can flash it from here. So that's pretty much this, that's it for flashing the firmware on your flight controller. And this applies to any flight controller that you have. So it's not just specific to the Omnibus. Um, it will work on all the like JBF4s, um, even the Helio RC flight controller, all those. So go ahead and like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.